QC data into AQS just the same way you load raw data or pollutant data with one exception. QC data does not go through all the way to post. You start off just the same way you load any data. You log into then you go to the batch screen and on this screen you'll see all the files that you've tried to load with all their errors and their statuses. You go to ENSC, Exchange Network Services Center. You click that and that opens up the Exchange Network Services Center where you log in. You go to My Services Center if you've already uploaded data into AQS. If you haven't, you go to Exchange Network Services and search here for AQS. We have loaded raw data and now we're going to load QC data for this TOM. So we go to My Services Center and click on the service name that we've been using. And at this point, you go through the same process. We're going to load a PM10 flow rate verification file for our TOM site. It's only one row, so it's fairly easy to keep track of. You enter all the same information, including your AQS user ID, so the Exchange Network Services Center knows where to put this data to. You enter your screening group because, of course, it needs to know what screening group you belong to. This is a pipe delimited flat file. And at this point, we're going to say final processing step stage. We're going to go through this step by step. We're going to say stop on error, no. You click send data and then it opens up a request received window. And it tells you that it's processing and you can view the status of this request in my activity. We're going to click this and it opens up a new panel that tells you it's processing. And at this point you can keep clicking refresh activity and it will give you an update as to where this file is. And finally you see under transaction status completed. Number of data rows successfully staged one and that's all the rows that are in the file. So we are happy. Now let's take a look at what this shows up as in AQS. So going back into AQS in the batch window, now you can click refresh sessions and now it will show you the most recent file on top and you can see it is staged and it is complete at this point. There's nothing else that AQS is trying to do with this file. The next step for QC data is to load it. So let's go ahead and click load file. Job successfully submitted. OK. Now it needs to go through its process of loading this, which means finding the site and sampler and making sure that the data that is in this file is consistent with all the codes that are in AQS for this site and monitor. You can keep clicking refresh sessions until we see load completed. Records loaded one, records failing to load zero. Now remember this is a flow rate verification file that has only one row in it and as a QC file it does not go through all the way to post. All it has to do is load. This looks like really good news. How do we verify that this data went through? First, let's check in the correct menu to see if it got hung up in limbo in the correct files. We go to correct, QA transactions, flow rate verification. It doesn't look like it's here in the correct files. Let's just make sure by clicking load QA data and it already knows our screening group so it would find something that got stuck in the correct tables and didn't make it through to where it's supposed to go. Let's use another verification tool to make sure that this QA check that we just entered actually is in AQS. From the main menu, maintenance, QA assessments, and you can see all the QA assessments that are available and we just uploaded a flow rate verification so we click that. Once again when the screen opens it's in query mode and it automatically puts in your screening group agency that may or may not be the same as your tribal code but the site where this flow rate verification was done was on the Colville tribe so I'm going to put that tribal area then I'm going to enter the site ID where the flow rate verification was done and then I click execute query and it finds the row so this is excellent news we see that 
the values just as we uploaded them are here, so we can be confident that this flow rate verification is now in AQS.